Okay? Let's go to part B now. It turns out that the manager has installed a new hot water system and it will provide enough water for the entire hotel as long as overall nobody takes more than on average a shower of 12 minutes. Now, this hotel will hold a total of 84 guests. So let's assume a worst case scenario. Let's assume a case in which we've got 84 guests and they're all showering. I want to know if this new new hot water system can handle it as long as nobody takes on average longer than 12 minute showers. What's the probability that there will not be enough water? That is specifically what's the probability that these 84 guests overall take an average shower that's longer than 12 minutes. How do we do that? Well, we're talking really about a sample here of 84, of size 84. So I need to draw a picture of my distribution and here I'm going to talk about the means, the sample means, all the different possible samples of size 84 take those averages and see what it looks like. Once again, we know that it is very steep. It's going to look like this. My distribution will. I know that right smack dab in the middle will be my mean again of 11.4 minutes. I know that is still going to be the average time that you take a shower. But when I figure up an average for 84 guests, I know that it's going to be really close to this 11.4. Hardly any of them are going to be way off to the side. Why? Because the standard deviation is different. And how do we calculate the standard deviation? By the way, the proper, the proper notation for this is mu sub x bar. Okay? The standard deviation is sigma sub x bar, and that is equal to the original standard deviation of 2.6, but we have to divide that by the, stand, by the uh, square root of the size of my sample. In other words, the 84 guests. Well, if I do it on my calculator, I put in 2.6 divided by the square root sign 84, close parentheses, equals, and that tells me that my new standard deviation for this distribution of the means of all the samples is 0.28. Uh, let's call that point 2837. Let's just round it to that for now. Okay? All right. This is the standard deviation I will be using when I convert my boundary line to a z-score. Not the old standard deviation. I'm going to use this new one. So once again, I'm going to draw in my picture, my boundary line of 12. I want to know what's the probability we're going to not have enough hot water. That is what the probability that the average shower is longer than 12 minutes. If this is a boundary line of 12, then once again, we're talking about this area under the curve. What is this total area under the curve? You say, well, isn't it going to be the same as we had before? No, because we have a different shape curve. Not going to be the same. Let's find out what we've got. <clears throat> First of all, my z-score. My z-score for 12 is going to be equal to 12 minus the mean of 11.4, but divided by 0.2837 this time, my new standard deviation. So, using my calculator, 12 minus 11.4 is equal to 0.6, but I'm dividing it by 0.2837. 2837, and that equals, let me get a pen here, this is a z-score of 2.11. If I look up 2.11, that is positive, so I'll look at my positive z-score table. You should be looking this up along with me. 2.11 is an equivalent percent of, or decimal of 
six. Point nine eight two six. But once again, this gives me the total area to the left of the curve. So I want the area to the right of the curve. I always have to do one additional step. I have to subtract this to find the complement. And this is equal to, it'd be a four, seven, one, zero. So that is point zero one seven four or somewhat less than 2% chance. 2% chance of what? We've got less than a 2% chance that we will run out of water. Another way of saying it is there's less than a 2% chance that on average the 84 guests will take a shower that lasts 12 minutes or longer. So, what do you think? Did the hotel manager do right in putting the new system? Is this good enough? Is a is a probability of less a little bit less than two percent good enough? Well, yeah, it is. Remember, we say that any event whose probability is less than 0 0.05 or five percent is considered a very rare event. So, probability less than two percent would be considered a very rare event. So he should be safe with this new water system.